everybody. It's a whole new week and I have new tarot cards for you. So let's see what we got. I did have my primary guide Morgan drew these for us this week. And let's see. First up, ah, Knight of Cups. This week, be sure that you're not rushing in to something that you love. Um, be sure that you are making a thoughtful plan because knights go on quests and they rush in. And cups is the element of water, which represents our heart. And you'll notice his horse, no bridle, no reins. So he's ready to rush in, but he doesn't know where he's going. Um, so if you're looking for love, be sure that you like write a list of what your relationship might look like um, <laughs> so that you don't go rushing into something, you know, that might not work out. Next up, the King of Wands. So wands is the element of fire. This is taking action, getting things done. And I love on this deck, the King of Wands, he's taking care of those underneath him, but you'll notice there's a cup back here on his throne because he's put what he loves on a shelf so that he can take care of everyone else. So this is your masculine energy. It's everyone has both. So women get this card all the time. It means you're busy doing everything for everyone else. And you might be a little bit tired. See how he's whole, he's wearing all black. Um, <laughs> so it could be a validation from spirit that you're doing a great job taking care of everybody, but it could also be a little nudge to go ahead and ask for help. You don't have to do it alone. All right. And finally, ah, Ace of Cups. So again, Cups element of water and it's love, our heart, our emotions. And the Ace is the beginning of a brand new cycle. It goes from Ace to 10. So you can see that the cup here is overflowing. There's a dove because it's divinely authorized cycle of love. And the water is rushing out and she's got her hand out in it. So this week, this totally goes with this night card. Um, You're going to hit a new cycle of love with something in your life. This doesn't have to be romantic love. It can be a love of um, a relative, a friend. It could be something that you love, um, you know, your pet, that kind of thing. But <laughs> Maybe, maybe you're adopting a pet this week, but don't rush in. Be sure that you have a good place for them to live, that you can take care of them before you go ahead and make that step because you are stepping into a new cycle of love this week. Yay. Okay. And then I had Morgan draw one Oracle card from my unicorn deck because I felt like magic, right? All right, here we go. <gasps> miracles, you guys, miracles this week. Yay. That's what we all want to hear, right? So this week, be open to the possibility of miracles. And I've been doing a lot of, um, connecting with different angels. And a lot of them are coming through about that. You have to allow spirit to present a miracle. You can't force it. You can't drag it out. So try really hard to just keep that hope in your heart and know that miracles are on the way this week. Woo! I want to hear all your good news down in the comments. So leave me a comment. Let me know what, what miracles came through, big or small. Um, so to wrap up, let me give you all the cards again. The Knight of Cups. When this first cycle starts, don't get too excited and rush in. Make sure that you have a good, solid plan of what you want with this new love. And King of Wands, you are doing such a good job taking care of everyone and getting things done. If you're getting tired, ask someone for help. You don't have to do it alone. You are allowed to do the things you love. They don't have to sit on a shelf. And finally, new cycle of love this week. So if you're looking for romantic love, you could meet the right person this week. If it's, you know, it could be love of a pet, a relative, a car. Um, anyway, new cycle of love this week. And finally, miracles, yay. So remember, let go and let spirit make a miracle for you, okay? That's the hard for me. <laughs> All right. So down below, if you would like to leave me a tip, it keeps me in Starbucks tea and totally makes my day. There's a coffee link down there if you would like to do that. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you never miss a free reading 
Also, I have been manifesting all kinds of magic. Um, <laughs> so down below, you will see a link for my new metaphysical meetup group. And also I have a new website for manifesting. Uh, meta it's called metaphysicalmanifesting.net. And I put a link for that down there. If you want to get involved, there's a new newsletter with, it's going to have all kinds of manifesting tips in it. And also a link for your free reading. And I think that's all that I have. I also have a Patreon for the books and that's down at the bottom. My patrons just got a cool box with all kinds of cute things, including little howling crystal wolves. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so if you want to get involved in Patreon, that link is down there too. Thanks so much for being here, you guys. I hope that you have a fantastic week and I will see you next week. Bye.